Okay, so has this ever happened to you? You go to drop a column in pandas and whoops, there's a big old error. Today we're gonna to be solving that error right here on my channel in this pandas tip series. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so so that you can be alerted the next time I post in this series. And if you'd like to follow along with today's code, you can go on over and visit my GitHub page under the pandas tip section. With all of that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the drop method and let's solve that error. Let's get started by importing pandas and aliasing that as PD. And I'm working with pandas version 2.1.1, which was released in September, 2023. I'm gonna go ahead and load in some data from GitHub. And this is the read Excel function. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can check out my past video all about read Excel. But this information is coming from my GitHub page and you can follow along with it. Okay, let's take a look at the top part of this data frame. We have various different purchases made by customers. We have item descriptions, as well as whether or not the purchase was made online. So let's get started with the basics. Let's say that we'd like to drop that online column. Maybe we've decided to only sell online and we don't need that information anymore. Okay, so maybe you've done something like this in your own experience. You've tried DF, drop, and then you've passed in online, which is the name of that column. And if you do that, you will get a big old error. <laughs> so I just wanted to demonstrate this is a really common problem when people try to drop column names. Um, if we scroll all the way down to the explanation, it will say online is not found in Axis. So what does that mean? Well, that means that Pandas was trying to look through all of your index numbers and it couldn't find the word online in your row names. You need to tell Pandas to look for online in the column names instead of the row names. So there's two ways that you can fix this drop statement and make sure that Pandas is looking for the word online in your column names. The first is you can add in axis equals one. That tells Pandas that it should be looking for the word online in the column names instead of the index label names. And that works. We don't have the online column anymore. We've been able to successfully drop it. Another option, which is more of my personal favorite, you can go before the word online and write in columns equals, and let's try that. Great, so this also works. I really like this option because the code is very simple to read and it tells pandas that it should be looking for the online in the columns as opposed to the index labels. So it's really common to receive an error when you're trying to drop columns with pandas. Be sure to either set axis equal to one or to use the columns argument, which will tell the drop method to look for the string label that you've entered in the column names instead of the index names. You can also use drop to drop a row from your pandas data frame. Here's what our data frame looks like right now. Let's say that we'd like to drop this row about blue jeans. We'll say that that was not an actual purchase and we wanna get rid of it from our data. So we can go down here and just type df.drop and then add in the number two. So that worked. You can just pass in the index label here and you'll be able to drop your row. But if you wanna be a little bit more explicit, you could also put in this argument index equals two. It's just a little bit more explicit about what you're trying to drop with this command. And one other point I wanted to make about this is that we are dropping by index name and not by position number. So here's a little exercise just to demonstrate that a little bit further. Let's say that we renamed the top row in our data frame first row. So I've gone over here and I don't see a zero anymore as the label, it now says first row. If I do that to my data frame, when I use drop, I need to say that I want to drop the name first row rather than the zeroth row. So just remember with this drop command that you're actually supplying the name of each row or column instead of the position number. Now that you've got those basics down, let's go ahead and level up. We're going to take a look at these additional options so that you can make your changes permanent and that you can drop multiple items at once. Let's take a look. You can also use drop to get rid of multiple columns at once. So here's our data frame. Let's say that we'd like to get rid of that online column and maybe also this customer ID column. We wanna get rid of both of them. We can use drop to do that. All we have to do is type df.drop. And then now instead of just passing in a string, we're going to pass in a list of column names. So I'll once again use the columns argument, but now I have a list. I wanna get rid of the customer ID column. And I also wanna get rid of the online column. Let's see what happens. Great. So I'm able to pass in a list of different column names and drop will go ahead and get rid of all of those. The final thing to tell you about is how to drop information permanently. 
So taking a look at our data frame one more time, note that none of the dropping that I've done so far has actually propagated to my actual data frame. So I still have the online column, I still have row zero and two and all of that. So I haven't actually changed the underlying data frame yet, but I can by using an option called in place. So if I go down here and I execute drop once again on the online column, we know that if I do this, it works, but the problem is just that if I look at this data frame one more time, it shows back up. So the problem is just that this drop command has not made a permanent change. So I just need to update that a little bit. Go to down here. I'm going to once again use the drop command. I'll say that I want to drop the online column. But the only difference now is I'm going to add in in place equals true. Okay. So when you do that, you won't actually get a return object because now this command is changing the underlying data frame and it won't give you a copy of your data back. It will actually change DF. So if I take a look now at DF itself, I no longer have the online column and that change has been made permanent. Just make sure if you are using this in place option, it is really helpful in your code but just make sure that whatever you're dropping, you really wanna get rid of, because once you use in place, then your underlying data frame has been changed and you will no longer have that column. So with that, we have successfully solved that drop issue and we learned a lot of other things as well. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what other pandas methods and functions that you're interested in. And I'll make videos about those as well. See you then. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So much you do. Comment. <laughs>